Does Ireland have any historical tartans? Yeah. Yes. Depends on how far back you want to go. Yeah. <clears throat> the um, Tara Tartan is quasi historical esque, mm-hmm. um, although. <clears throat> Here's a question for you. Mac, you may know this. Don't answer yet. Let me ask Eric first. What tartan is the Terra tartan based on? Meaning, it is literally another tartan. The thread <sighs> count is effectively the I used same. To know this. You just tweak the colors. I used know, to know this. Change red for green and blue for whatever, and blah, blah, blah. And you have Terra slash Murphy. Yeah. And I can't remember for, for life to me. My Mac? Cab. I'll say the one that I'm wearing right now is very close to. Uh, Not gonna look up your kill, I promise. Uh, I've got Mc, <laughs> my, the McLean of Dwart. That is correct. Uh, okay. Yep. Okay. I knew it was Mac something. Now it was the, Mac Michael. But the other, uh, <laughs> the other um, uh, more historic uh, Irish tartan is uh, Ulster. Ulster. I thought that they found Ulster in a bog or something. From what I'm seeing, the Ulster tartan. Is an interpret- interpretation of a fabric dug out in 1956 from an earth bank on a farm. Um, Irish kilts basically go back to the turn of the 19th to the 20th century. They were an outgrowth of the various national movements, especially the uh, uh, the uh, uh, the Gaelic Athletic Association um, and um, Saint Enda School. No, Saint, no, yes, Saint Enda School. Yeah. Um, it was the first. Uh, Indication of them was that uh, people were using them as part of uh, uh, sport team stuff with the Gaelic uh, sports, and then um, Endas did it as a school uniform. Um, the idea was they were trying to get away from English stuff and uh, arrive at a national identifier kind of garb. And even though you know they weren't trying to say they were Scottish, they were trying to say, well, this is closer to a separate identity than if we keep wearing trousers. So they kind of invented the idea of wearing kilts, but they made them solid colors. So they had uh, blue for St. Patrick, and they had green uh, for Ireland in general, and then they had saffron because saffron is said to be um, a, uh, a popular dye for uh, Lenya and other garments in medieval Ireland. It's considered to be the color of the kings because saffron isn't necessarily cheap. So they uh, started off with those three colors and then tartans came in later. So the history of Irish tartans is actually very recent. The history of Irish kilting in general basically goes back to the nationalists around the turn of the century. Yeah, the Ulster tartan is the oldest Irish tartan. The But it's only Irish because it was found in Ireland. Correct. Frankly speaking, it probably came from Scotland. And then they just Quite called likely. it that one because it was a fashion-y kind of tartan. Yeah. And it's been, was just it found. was glommed onto by the Ulster Scots. So if you are, yes. a, if you are not an Ulster Scot, if you're not an Ulsterman or an Orangeman, you may not want to be, you might not be as interested in it. I wasn't even aware of that much, so. Yeah, I think it's more of a. <clears throat> no, but the the Irish County Tartans, which are what are much, much more common today, only go back to 1995 with Polly Wittering and the House of Edgar designing all those um, and the Irish National Tartan. Um, so, yeah, Irish Tartans traditionally aren't very, very old. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also several Irish name Tartans, like. Kirkpatrick, Ford, a few others, um, Fitzpatrick. But those are, again, around the mid-90s. When Braveheart came out and there was the explosion of people really wanting to wear kilts and explore their Celtic ancestry and their you know Gaelic heritage and all that kind of stuff, they jumped into it and all the mills in Scotland kind of got the bright idea and smart idea of, okay, how do we tie this in? So several mills started doing, okay, we're going to do the Irish, uh, a few different Irish names right. like the Scots have. That never really caught on. La Caron specifically did the Irish provinces, the four provinces of, of Ireland. Mm-hmm. And that caught on with very, very limited appeal. Um, the one that really stuck was House of Edgar's Irish County Tartans. And those are still probably by far the most popular today. And they're beautiful. I, I, yeah. I would, I, at, at the risk of... Being simplistic, I'd say they, they do feel Irish. They have a they have a certain warmth to them, yeah. uh, a certain earthiness to most of the designs, which is just it, it feels right. So I think they I think they did nail it. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But so hopefully that answers the question. Mm-hmm.